New tonight at 11. Some families in Howard County say their homes are being snatched right out from under them and they're concerned about what's coming next. The county wants to build a new homeless shelter on the site of what now is a crowded mobile home park. So what happens to the people who live there now? ABC 2 News Christian Schaefer is in the newsroom with more on that story tonight. Chris? Yeah, guys, also tonight people who live near that site aren't too excited about a homeless shelter being built nearby, but officials from Howard County say the need to get homeless people off the street is too great to ignore. You may have driven past the Beechcrest Mobile Home Park hundreds of times and never known it. It's behind the Econo Lodge on Route 1 north of Laurel. 38 families live here, including Janice Brown. We're ready for Christmas. It's my little Christmas area here. She and her husband have two bedrooms, hardwood floors, and they own the mobile home itself, so the only monthly payment is the rental of the space where it sits, less than $500 a month. But now the Howard County Housing Commission has purchased the entire mobile home park. The plan is to move everyone out so they can build a new homeless shelter. You're putting me off of the property that I live on, and to me that's not fair. It's not my decision to go. You're telling me I have to leave, so there has to be some compensation. And county officials say there will be, but no one from the mobile home park was at this meeting tonight when officials discussed the plan. People who live near the site did come to voice their concerns about potential increases in crime and lower property values a shelter might bring. The idea is to get them used to the idea that this isn't uh, we're not bringing criminal elements uh, into their neighborhood. And they say the 38 families who live in the Beechcrest Mobile Home Park will be compensated. There have been closings of mobile home parks on Route 1 in the past. We've provided financial assistance to, to quite a few of those and helped them to relocate, and, and we've done so successfully. Still, the irony of the situation is not lost on Janice Brown. We're, we're losing our homes, and they're supposed to build a, a homeless apartment complex. And she's worried that whatever Howard County comes up with to help her find a new place to live might not be enough. I'm just waiting to see how that pans out before I feel like oh, it's time to get a lawyer and see what other recourses that I can take. Yeah, this is not a done deal, but it's pretty close to it. The county already owns the land and has one year to find ways to help those 38 families move out. They'll release more information about the plan this spring, and then they hope to start building the homeless shelter in 2014. Live in the newsroom, Christian Schaefer, ABC 2 News.